Hi, this is Dr. Deepa Squally, and today I'm here to talk to you about Starbucks lattes and why I avoid them. So here's my disclaimer. If you love Starbucks coffee or lattes and you just can't live without them, I don't know that you should if you should watch this blog because it, it may offend you. So take your chances. So in residency was when Starbucks coffee started to get pretty popular and I knew residents that would stop every single day without fail to get their cup of coffee. Now frankly at that time I would just treat myself maybe once every couple of weeks because honestly at that point with what I was getting paid as a resident I really couldn't afford that extra luxury of that coffee. So I don't know how everybody else did it but I just couldn't afford it. So even now that things have changed, I'm no longer a resident, I can certainly afford the, the Starbucks coffee, I shy away from it now for different reasons. I would say the big one is the calories. I mean, if I drink a cup of coffee at home, I don't add much, I don't add creamer, I usually use skim milk and very little and very little sugar. So that's probably about 20 to 30 calories at the most. But if I go to Starbucks and get one of their lattes, it can be somewhere around 250 to 350 calories, depending on what kind of drink I get. And that are, those are calories that I just don't want to start my day because it too, takes too long to work off and it almost replaces a snack or a meal. So something I'd rather do without. Now the cost is still a significant issue because a Starbucks latte is still about $4.50 or so, and if you do that every day for 20 years, you're spending about $30,000 on a cup of coffee, which to me just seems really expensive. And over 20 years, that's like a 91,000 calories that you're ingesting that you don't need to, and that's not something I want to do. The third reason that I don't do drink Starbucks coffees or lattes is the crash. I remember there are times where I'd have a cup of coffee and all of a sudden at 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon I was ready for a nap. Between the caffeine and the sugar surge I was just wiped after that coffee so I don't need that. I don't have time for that. The other thing is that um, with with the coffee having so many chemicals and all these additives, I just don't think that's something that I need to be putting in my body at this point in my life. I'm trying to eat as clean and be as healthy as possible, so Starbucks just doesn't go along with it. Now, my last and probably my biggest reason for not enjoying Starbucks lattes or coffee is the fact that I just don't think they taste good. I have been, tra I've traveled in Europe and I've had some really amazing cups of coffee and a really great cup of coffee should taste smooth and not bitter, even black. And that's not the case with the Starbucks coffee because it's just bitter and it tastes terrible. I can't get it to taste good unless I add a lot of sugar and a lot of cream and to me it's just not worth it. So those are the five reasons that I don't go to Starbucks and I avoid it at all costs. Hopefully it'll make you rethink a couple of things and uh, maybe choose some better options. This is Dr. Deepa Squally. Thanks for watching.